we've had a few days of rain here which has been quite welcome um, and I have come across a key which really looks like it should be something out of a fairy tale and I'm just going to take you up to the door that opens and we'll go and have a look and see what we can see so just up this way and this is really going back into the it's probably the 17th century this house it's gonna put the old head torch on maybe we'll be able to see something right Now, first things first, we have a terrace on top of that big old rock, which is pretty noteworthy. The roof's not looking too bad, but I do think the drainage situation probably going to leave something to be desired. I have the loft. I think we can get into that from the other side. Let's go and have a look. Wow. It's all pretty soft. I actually see someone's put some recent wood in there. There's that rock. The house really is just built into it. Now, I have no idea what this is. It looks like chestnuts. Yeah, chestnut hulls. I wonder how many of those were full chestnuts and how many mice got to eat them. So this is sort of like an update of Wattle and Daub. Literally they've nailed planks in and they've infilled them. And for those of you who have seen us on Facebook, which is Howard's Portugal on Facebook as well, um, we've put up some pictures of where we've been cooking. And just look at that hearth. Absolutely incredible. These ceilings here were actually used for drying chestnuts, which is why they're slatted like this. Oh, pantry. See that beam is looking rather... Mm, still pretty solid. rotten floor so obviously we want to restore as much as we can here I'm hoping that when we do come to to restore it we'll be able to retain this old structure here shame to to lose it uh, slightly gingerly moving in here now we've got the bedrock that the house is built into. Yeah, underneath the stairs. I've got so, some modern goggles. Now this looks like it might have been the living room. Wonderful cupboards, corner cupboards, containing various spiders and hello geckos. You're not going to be particularly enjoying the uh, the bright light from this head torch, I guess. I'll leave you to it. This is the same sparkly 
sand that I've been digging out of the water mines. And whether you can see down there, I've really got some slightly dodgy wood. It's now a huge rock. I wonder if that's putting candles in. Let me know in the comments what you think. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, I found another key. And of course, curiosity gets me to think, does it open this door? No. But it must do something. Hmm. I'm going to hang it back up because it might well be there for a reason. So I've got some beautiful stairs, which I'm hoping are going to take my weight. Think like thoughts. Wow. It's relatively watertight. Eesh. I can feel everything creaking and complaining. <sighs> wow. And that's the drying floor. That's above the kitchen. So once upon a time, I guess there. I haven't actually seen evidence of a chimney. And I guess that the smoke could have just arisen up here and dried out whatever they were drying. But account for everything being fairly dark up here. So this is gonna be quite a Quite a rebuild really this one. You know, we've got an awful lot of work to do to make this habitable. But hopefully we'll come back and look back on this and uh, be impressed. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna try and get back down these stairs without killing myself. Ugh. It just feels very very soft. Wow. Well, that does nothing, but it's probably a good thing. We don't need to worry too much about security for that particular one. Right, on to the next thing. <laughs>